morning, you guys. This video is going to be an installation video of my Kinky Comer uh, wefted hair that I got. And this is a reinstallation because the first time I re or the first time I installed my hair, it um, wasn't installed properly and the tracks ended up slipping off. So I'm gonna show you all a new way that I did it that proved to be a little more secure. And right now, this is the hair that you're seeing coming out of the box from Kinky Comer as I ordered it. Um, the texture of the hair is really, uh, it just really mimics like a 4B to 4C texture hair. It's really strong, um, coarse, kinky, curly, whatever you wanna call it. And this right here is a shot of the shedding of the hair. Um, it's curly hair, so you're gonna get some shedding. I mean, it's pretty obvious. But for the most part, if depending on how you install the hair and if you seal the wefts or not, you shouldn't have a mass amount of shedding. I mean, you're gonna have some, but not too much. Here is a shot of the actual weft so you can get an idea of um, the construction of it. And it's pretty secure. I mean, they, they definitely did their job when they sewed that together. Here is my old unit with the kinky comber hair and that is a track that has just lifted completely off of the cap. And there you can see there how bare that cap is and how many tracks actually slipped off. So what I'm doing right now is putting a plastic or two plastic bags over my mannequin head. And I'm doing that because this, these plastic bags are gonna serve as a barrier or layer of protection between the hair, the weft, and my hair. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I choose to oil my scalp or to moisturize my hair, I don't want that oil to get on the tracks or the weft and cause the glue to slip. That was a problem that I had in the beginning. So this is my way of remedying that. And here I am taking two nude wig caps. And you guys, I don't wanna use nude wig, wig caps, but this is what I had on hand. So this is what I ended up using. Here I am just ripping those old tracks off of my old installation so that they can be reapplied to the newly constructed unit. The way I'm installing this video is I'm starting at the base of the cap and I'm working my way up to the top. And the first thing I do is take that first track and measure it around the head. And I'm gonna take a stick pin and hold one end of the track in place. That allows me to be able to glue the hair and use the hot glue gun without the wefted hair falling off of the mannequin head. And when I'm doing the hot glue gun method, I prefer to do a little bit of glue at a time. This glue is really hot, but yet it dries really, really quickly. So you wanna make sure that you put the glue on in sections and then press it down, do another section and press it down. That really helps the glue to stay in place.
I continued with the wefted hair around the circumference of the cap until I got to the very top center. And I'm just closing off that middle part with a circular type closure. And I normally wouldn't construct my units this way, but I was sort of in a rush. And I figured, you know what, with this curly hair, you're not gonna be able to see the middle of my head anyway. So that's why I chose to do it this way. And as you'll see later on, the actual front of the wig is a U part. So here is the unit off of the mannequin head and as you guys can see those plastic bags are just hanging all the way out so I'm going to just go ahead and cut that additional plastic off. So I'm putting the unit back on the mannequin head so that I can go ahead and cut the center of the U part out and fit the cap more securely to my head. I have the right shape cut out, but obviously you can see that tan cap underneath all of that hair. So I have a way I'm going to remedy that and I'll show you in just a second. I'm gonna take a Sharpie marker and just color over that tan wig cap. So here's the finished result of the unit. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.